I wish everyone a very good morning. I must apologize to the house I started late by uh, 20 minutes. I'm not feeling well, so I had to delay the house to start. Honorable members, once again I extend a warm welcome to the third session, the emergency uh, special session to the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Less than two months ago, uh, we had the second session and the emergent special session had been called because of the importance and urgency of the business before us which needs immediate attention in the interest and welfare of our people. So without further delay, honorable members, uh, we shall start with item number one, reporting on SN2 bills. The secretary in charge of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly to report the assent of the Honorable Governor of Nagaland to the following bills. Number one, the Nagaland Motor Vehicles Taxation Amendment Bill of 2023. Number two, the Nagaland Passengers and Good Taxation Amendment Bill of 2023. Honorable Speaker, sir, I beg to report the assent of the Governor Honorable Governor of Nagaland to the following bills passed by the Assembly. The Nagaland Motor Vehicles Taxation Amendment Bill 2023, the Nagaland Passengers and Goods Taxation Amendment Bill 2023. Let us now move on to item number two, presentation of Select Committee Report. Shri T. R. Zilian, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister and Convener of the Select Committee to examine the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023 to present a copy of the report of the Select Committee on the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023 under Rule 231 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Honorable members are aware that the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023 was introduced by the Leader of the House, Shri Nipurio, Honorable Chief Minister, on 12th of September 2023, during the second session of the 14th Assembly. And the motion was moved to refer the bill to a select committee under Rule 73, Clause B of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Accordingly, a seven member select committee to examine the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023 was constituted with Shri D.R. Zilian, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, as the convener. Now, the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister and convener of the Select Committee may present the report. Mr. Speaker, sir. I see Tia Jillian, convener of the Select Committee, to examine the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023, do here present a copy of the report of the Select Committee on the Nagaland, Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023. The copies have been made available on your table. Now I shall put a report of the Select Committee to the vote of the House. Those in favour of adopting the report of the Select Committee may say aye. aye. Those against may say no. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. The report as presented is adopted. Now, Honourable Deputy Chief Minister, Shri T.R. Zilian and convener of the Select Committee may move for leave of the House to withdraw the Nagaland Municipal Bill 23, which was introduced on 12th of September 2023. Mr. Speaker, sir, I beg to move the motion for withdrawal of the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023, 
which was introduced in this August House on 12 September 2023. I shall now put the vote for withdrawal of the Naglen Municipal Bill 2023 as was introduced in 12th of September 2023. All those in favor of withdrawing the bill may say aye. aye. Those against may say no. The ayes have it, the ayes have it. Leave for withdrawal of the bill is granted. Sri Tiyar Ziliyan, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister and Convener of the Senate Committee may move for withdrawal of the Nagali Municipal Bill 2023 as was introduced on September 2023. I beg to move the motion for withdrawal of the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023, which was introduced in this August House on 12 September 2023. Now that the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister and Convener of the Select Committee has moved for withdrawal of the bill, the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023, which was introduced on 12th of September 2023, be withdrawn. Again, all those in favor of the bill to be withdrawn may say aye. aye. Those against may say no. The ayes have it, the ayes have it. The Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023, which was introduced on 12th of September 2023, stands withdrawn. Honourable members, let us now come to item number three, consideration and passing of the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023, which has just been introduced by the Leader of the House. Before we move on to consideration and passing of the Nagaland Municipal Bill, I have received a list of names representing each political party who would like to participate and share their opinion on this bill. Now I shall call out the names. The floor is open uh, to the House. I request the honourable members who are participating that to be judicious with the time allotted, uh, I would request and urge the House not to use more than five minutes. <coughs> the honourable members who are participating may express your support to the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023 with your recommendations or express your reservations. I now call upon Shri T.R. Zilian to participate. Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise to participate in the discussion on Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023. In the first place, I was reluctant to participate and my initial thought was to move the bill for passing and yield my time to the other speakers. However, I considered and decided that I would take this opportunity to say a few words on record, as this might be the last time that we would be deliberating on this issue. And if nothing goes wrong at this very moment, we would be successfully, successfully passing this bill in this August House today. As convener of the Select Committee to examine this bill, I had the opportunity to discuss the matter with the other honorable members in the committee and also respected Chief Secretary, Municipal Affairs Department officials, Assembly Secretary led by Assembly Secretary, and the APEC Civil Society Organization before finally recommending to be passed in the Assembly. I would not like to repeat myself on the chronology of this bill as it would consume a lot of time mm. if I narrate events spanning two decades and also not dwell on the technical 
and legal aspect of the bill. Since 2001, we have had trouble with this bill and we have also on many occasions in the floor of this house and outside expressed our views and suggestions. And many speakers today would be delving on the bill and the clauses which are deleted and added. So I will not speak much on those matters and the bill and the bill place here today is self-explanatory in itself. Therefore, to make it short, I only wish to address certain things to be on record. It is not a secret that I have had the worst ordeal with this bill in the past. But today, I'm most excited that this bill will finally see the light of the day with 33% women reservation. When I was initially met the convener of the select committee to examine this bill, there were people who said that I would distance myself from this issue and that I should not be even part of anything remotely related to this bill. However, I was resolute in my decision to be a part of it and I am grateful to the Honourable Leader of the House who in his wisdom has given me this responsibility to see that this bill is brought to fruition. Today, I stand here with a sense of containment and satisfaction and I feel that I am the happiest for the bill to be passed and that our women will get the much needed boost to be elected representative in the ULBs and be part of the decision-making body for our municipals and towns. I am also confident that with your in involvement in planning and policy making, our town would be positively impacted. Having said this, I would like to also appeal to our women to be on board with us today and not let the issue of reservation for the post of chairperson be the bottleneck in successful conduct of the ULB election. With your capability and perseverance, I am sure that you will give the man a fair and tough competition for the post and there would not be any reason why you would need reservation for the same. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, sir, in conclusion, I once again express my deepest gratitude to the Honorable Chief Minister, all Honorable Members of the Committee, and not forgetting the government officials, Assembly Secretary, led by Secretary in charge, and all who have contributed towards bringing out this consist and acceptable bill. Today, I get closure to the bitter past events and may it be placed on record that I do not blame anyone for anything but my own insignificance and shortcoming as a human. Whatever happened was not a personal political loss. As many have commented, but I see it as a collective gain for the, for, for the Nagas. As we now have a consensus and all sections of the Nagas have understood and rightly perceived the matter which is constitutionally mandated. Today, I appeal to all my Naga brothers and sisters to lend your support to this bill and not hold any reservation in your mind. And together, let us march ahead for all-round development of our town and 
the state in general. Under the able leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, let us be united and leave a legacy for posterity to benefit and appropriate for the little things we have collectively done today. I give my consent in support of this bill and to be passed in the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Thank you. Kok Nalem. God bless Nagaland. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.